We left yesterday's class talking a little bit about the prohibition movement and how it really affected American society and we discussed a little bit about whether or not it was actually successful. We talked a little bit too as well about how it led to an escalation of violence, particularly gang violence. Chicago was one good example of that where Al Capone's gangs played a very negative role in American society at the time. Prohibition eventually ended in 1933, not because of any moral crusade against it, but largely because people thought that it would produce more jobs if prohibition was ended, and also they believed that um, it could be potentially something useful to get people to feel less depressed about the Great Depression. Some other um, characteristics of American society at this time you have to be aware of was that it was a time of extreme xenophobia uh, racial violence and nativism. Nativism essentially was just an attitude of um, self-focus on American and what people believe to be American values that were to the exclusion of people and races and ethnicities they saw as non-American. At this time as well there was considerable movement of blacks from the south to factory jobs in the north moving into ghettos and places like Chicago or creating their own communities in places like Harlem. Um, in many cases this led to an increase of violence as whites felt threatened about the loss of jobs or about potentially the intrusion of blacks into their white neighborhoods. Blacks felt on the other hand that they uh, were entitled to be part of American society. They had fought in World War I in some cases and they felt that uh, you know having fought for liberty and freedom that that was in fact the society that we should have in America. Uh, largely due to this there was a bit of a renaissance as well uh, referred to in Harlem anyways, the Harlem Re Renaissance fueled mainly by a explosion in the arts, particularly in writing among black writers and jazz musicians. Uh, it really led to an increase of sen increased sense of racial pride among blacks in the United States. This later fuels the civil rights movement that we'll look at in the 1950s and 1960s. Alternatively, however, because remember this was a time of contradiction, there was a growth in the Ku Klux Klan, a massive growth to about 3 million members in the 1920s. Just reflected again the nativist attitudes, the xenophobia, the hatred of all things considered un-American, whether they be Bolshevism or anarchy or Jews, Catholics, blacks, foreigners, whomever. The Sacco Vanzetti case we looked at earlier was a good example of this, of people just generally feeling that uh, American society needed to be protected from things that were seemingly a threat to it. Here we see the Ku Klux Klan march in Washington in 1925. Most of them claimed to be defending American and Christian values. Most of them came from middle class families or, or backgrounds. Some rural, but also from urban areas in the United States as well. Probably the best example of this xenophobia and this race and nativism, as well as a sense of isolationism and a rejection of internationalism in the United States, was the closing of American doors to immigrants. In particular, there was a severe closure barring all Asians, which plays a huge role in growing Japanese animosity against the United States in the interwar period. Here we have a great example of a political cartoon, American flag trying to keep out anarchy, reds, and Bolshevism. Religion was also powerful in the 1920s. We saw a resurgence of Christianity and fundamentalist movements as well as new branches of Christianity, um, typically probably best exemplified by the Pentecostal movement. And of course, that has a role in our school today. The best example of this conflict between modernity and, and religion and uh, what people believe to be new scientific values was seen in the Scopes Monkey Trial which we talked about earlier in class. Here we see uh, one of the centers of the town. Um, we see the sort of uh, celebrity status that these types of events drew. We'll talk more